plotting a sequence in Desmos. So you're probably used to using Desmos maybe for plotting functions. Now functions are kind of continuous in a sense. Um, at least, you know, you have a particular domain that you're given, but whenever you're stuck with plotting discrete, so even discrete functions or sequences, how do you do that in Desmos? Because it's not gonna have a nice continuous line associated with it, okay? So some graph, it's gonna be basically points. Um, so here are two sequences, and I wanna take these sequences and then show you what you do in Desmos and how to set it up, all right? So the first thing is take your sequence or your discrete function that you have, and I'm going to kind of rewrite it. And instead of N, I'm gonna use X because Desmos kind of likes that. So I'm gonna say, and let's say, let's call this one F of X equals to five X minus three. So I basically kind of are transforming this into a function um, first. Now the second one, so this one right here, I'm gonna write G, okay, of X equals two, so negative two, let's say X plus two squared minus one. All right, so that's the first thing that I'm gonna do. Um, now, I wanna be able to plot these up on decimals, okay? So let me pull up decimals, and we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do it kind of side by side um, and show you. Um, actually, maybe first, okay, so let me put it as big screen just to show you how to set it up. Because you're dealing with a discrete, so you have um, kind of a discrete function, okay, or a sequence that you're plotting, you only want it at particular points. So, you know, I called it N, okay? Um, so here I'm gonna say N is equal to, and I'm gonna create, okay, so here, so the number of elements that I have, and you can start it from whatever it is that you want N to start with. So either from zero, you know, zero, one, two, three, four, and going up, or a sequence where it starts from one, two, three, four, and so on, so I'll just go one, Okay, uh, sorry, I'll put dot, 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 and then I wanna end it somewhere, okay? Now I'm gonna end it, I'll put capital N here, and then close it. Where N, the capital N, I will decide how many um, of these points I'm going to be plotting. So I'm gonna put a slider in here, and you know, let's initially put, let's say maybe 100 elements that I'm gonna be plotting. Now, the next thing that you do is, so once you set up your n being points, now you are going to write out the function itself. So I have, I have two functions, so write f of x, okay, I'm gonna write this one as you normally would in fu function form. So here is, let me bring this back just so that I can see them. So the first one was f of x and that was five. Okay, so five x minus three, so that's my first function, all right? And then here's my, um, let's say I'm just, I wanna plot this one first and then we'll plot the second one right after. So at this moment, okay, which when you plot this, this looks, I mean, it's a line, right? But it certainly is continuous, it's not discrete points or not a sequence that we would wanna have. Um, so in order to do that, okay, what you do is, you basically are gonna be um, plotting up uh, ordered pairs. So it's almost like creating a table of values. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, okay, for our X value, we're gonna say N, um, and N is gonna be those elements that we defined on top. And then here for our Y value, we're gonna take our function, right? But now instead of X, okay, we're gonna be substituting our N in there. Okay, so notice I'm gonna close this down, okay, like this. And it actually will take uh, basically the entire array of elements. So 100 elements, put them into the function. So for, for n equals one, n equals two, n equals three, and it's gonna plot out those points. So I'm gonna remove this, okay? Now you see these points being plotted out. Now because it's a lot of points that I plotted, okay, so let's say we have that. Now, I don't wanna see that function, um, so I'm gonna hide it away, okay? And you can hide it away by clicking, okay, on the left-hand side, what you wanna see in decimals and what you don't wanna see, okay? So this is what you have, and now you've plotted your actual sequence or your discrete function that you wanted, 
right? You can adjust the settings, okay? So you can hit on the wrench there on the top right and then adjust this as you wish, okay? To be able to see kind of the domain and then the range um, as much as you want or you can zoom in and out. I'm using a tablet. So if you are zooming in and out, okay? So if I take the Y axis, I can kind of go up and down. If I take the X axis, I can go like this. And notice those points are basically just being streamlined. Now they're gonna get closer and closer together just because of me zooming in here. So that's how you can actually plot it. If you wanna plot several at the same time, you can with the same elements, okay? Um, just by putting in the other functions that you want. So I have just f of x as one of them, right? That's one sequence. But if you want to put another sequence, you can do that uh, within here. Now, if you want to change the number of elements that you have, you can, right? I mean, you can hit this. Let's say instead of having that, I only wanted 20. Okay, so I can put 20 within here. All right. Okay, so now for that second one, so I'm going to write down, so I called it g of x equals... Let me bring it back again. So I'm gonna take that function. I don't remember what it was. Okay, so let's say what was it there on the side. Um, so I have negative two, okay? And this was x plus two squared. Okay, so it's gonna be a weird sequence, a quadratic sequence it looks like. Okay, so like that, okay? So now let me move this out of the way now that I have this. And now again, so if, if I want for, to plot it, I would say n, but now I'm plotting into g, into that function, and I'm substituting n for it, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna adjust here, let's say, you know, I want 20 points like this, and you know, so you can do that. Let me remove this function, and then there you go. There's your points, you know, they're falling off, I guess, because that parabola uh, was kind of downwards. So notice here's the parabola, and those are your sequences. So you can do and plot as many points as you want uh, and make it discrete in this way. So hopefully you find this video useful, okay? Um, for any students or teachers who might be using this, you know, that's most amazing. Um, I mean, I use it, I'm not advertising or anything, um, but I, I, I love this tool, okay? Bye everybody.